Vivian. Five Vivian heads. Five Vivian heads. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today we have the giant box and it is the Gotham Steel Copper Pans. Tired of food sticking to the pan? You try to scrape it and then you scratch it. You may as well trash it. Not anymore. Hi Chef Daniel Green here with Gotham Steel. And I actually bought the entire set because I'm such a big fan of these copper pans. The newest technology in non-stick cookware made with ceramic and super strong titanium. But I still believe that the best copper pan available today is the red copper pan, which is my absolute favorite. I have it right here in front of me. And you guys know I love this thing. For those of you guys who have recently left me comments about an update video, I don't know that I should make an entire video on an update when I have nothing to update other than it's still brand spanking new. I use it two to three times a week and I've had it for over six months and it's still beautiful. We're gonna see if this guy will beat out my red copper pan and I'm kind of hoping it will. So I have a whole set that I love. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these pans if I don't love them. I'm still gonna use them, I guess. This is a 10 piece set. They all say the same thing. No oil, no butter, no nothing. We're about to find out. I get all kinds of goodies in this box. Let's see, let's see what we get. Same handle, at least from the pictures on the box. Same handle as my red cop. As all of them have the red, the same handle. That's why I think they're all the same thing. Okay, there's one. Guys, they are not fooling me. This is the same exact pan. This is the same exact pan. You guys know I love my red copper pan. So I know it in very, oh my God, it's the same freaking pan. It's the same pan, guys, look. <laughs> this one is six months old. This one I just took out of the box, but look. Same handles, red copper, Gotham Steel. Same, my, this one's obviously I use it a lot. <laughs> They're identical. If you just saw these like this next to each other, you could not tell the difference. It's when I flip them over that I can see that one's red, obviously, and one's this dark gray color. What else do I get? I get lids. And I get this guy. I'm kind of excited. Everything copper. Oh my God, look how nice that is. I'm going to be able to throw away all my old pots. Boom, there's the lid. Hey, here's a small one. Did you guys notice my shirt? It says five Vivian heads. If you want one, they're available on Amazon. I will put a link to the shirts down in the description of this video. Okay, I'm gonna go clean this guy and we'll go ahead and use this one just because it's the same and I wanna keep it all consistent. It will start with our egg test. It is hot and ready for me. So here we go. Here it is. Come on, egg. No butter, no nothing. So far so good, you guys. I just love how it like seals right there. So far it's performing just like the red copper one did, which I have right here next to me. Okay, that's very hot, don't do that. Let's see if it'll roll. Come on. Just look, 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 look. Look at it. Oh, I'm burning it. Oh, shit. You guys still see it? The egg, look at that, watch. You guys, look, non. <laughs> I always get so impressed with this stuff. I don't want my yolk to bust up there. Oh, shit. Aha, uh -huh. flipped it. So far, so good. Let me flip it. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't a flip, that was a flop. Ready, flip it, flip it, flip it. I can't flip a fuck. Aha, uh -huh. got him, got him, got him. Busted up that yolk, but it is definitely not sticking. No oil, no butter, no nothing. So far, so good. It's literally like cooking on air. Everything slides right off. Let's get this guy off of here. Bam. Then you just get a paper towel and you just wipe it off. See, look. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to scrub these guys. You don't have to put a metal utensils on them. Nothing. Look, clean. Ready for the next thing. And the next thing is going to be cheese. Look, burnt cheese is a frying pan disaster. 
Not with my pan. Shredded parmesan right on the heat. Remember our cheese test? Yeah, we're doing it again. Even though some of you guys said that cheese has a, a lot of oil, but that's okay. We're still going to try it. This time I have mozzarella instead of cheddar cheese. Let's see what's happening. Let's see if it'll even move. I don't think it's not moving at all. Ooh, I'm gonna use this to see what Ooh, look how nice the bottom looks. How nice, oh my God, I'm gonna eat this. It's definitely not sticking to anything. And I know you guys are gonna say, it's full of oil, I get it. But it's not sticking. Ooey gooey mozzarella. Look at that. Put it to the side. Okay. Once again, we're just gonna wipe this down with a paper towel. No birds stuck on mess. Because that's all I need for today. Now we're gonna do the famous marshmallows. In my last red copper video, everybody was asking who would cook marshmallows like this. And I raised my hand and said, me, because I wanna see if they stick. Duh. So guess what we're doing? We're testing the marshmallows again. It's just part of the review, guys. It's just part of the review. So far, this has absolutely matched up to my red copper pan. I am very impressed. Now let's do some marshmallows. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what's happening. All right, you, you know this takes a minute. Come on, marshmallows. They're already cooking, look. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yum, yum. All right, we're about to turn this over to see what's happening underneath here. So far, so freaking good. Now we're gonna flip. I don't know if it's gonna come off. About to find out. <laughs> oh, the sticky mess. Are you gonna fall out or what? Nope. They're not? Actually, guys, look how beautiful that is. You guys see that? It's not even like burnt. I mean, it's burnt, but it's not. They're definitely coming off. Look at how beautiful that is. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It smells like heaven. How yum. It is coming right off. Even though that is so sticky, it's coming right off of there. All right, you guys, so I think this is definitely a winner. If it went up against my favorite red copper pan, I think it is an absolute winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right. I'm gonna give the Gotham Steel copper pan five Vivian heads. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have a special gadget. Why is it special you ask? Because Josh Lauer, one of my amazing bitches, has sent it to my P.O. box for me to review. So we're gonna find out together how many Vivian heads we're gonna give this rapid egg cooker. Just based on what I've seen on the outside of this box, it will cook up to six eggs. It just did not tell me in how much time. Is it plugged in or is it microwave? That's another thing. I did not check. <laughs> I didn't check it. I don't know, we're about to find out together. And I also have pot holders that another one of my amazing bitches, Jody Jarvis, sent to my PO box as well. So thank you so much, Jody, and thank you so much, Josh Lauer, for sending these things to my PO box. I so appreciate you guys. If you wanna send me something, you can look in the description of this video. My PO box will be there. Let's see. Let's see what this thing brought us. Ooh, okay, so you have to plug it in. I thought it was a microwave product, but I was wrong. Okay, I'm so excited. The goal is for this thing to rapidly cook six eggs, right? The egg cooker is equipped with a temperature sensor and automatically shuts off when the water has fully evaporated. Oh, you need water. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so it steams them. How nice is this? Wow, I wasn't expecting all this stuff. How exciting, look. It has this little thing there and it has, Josh, thank you so much for this. Thank you and your wife. And Jody, thank you and your husband. Both of you guys mentioned your, oh, depending on how you wanna cook your egg is how much water you put in. I haven't even read the instructions yet, but I'm assuming that's what that means. Wait, there is another little pin. Remember we did that egg scrambler on my live stream and it had a little needle thing? 
I don't know what that's for, so I might have to read the instructions for that. This level here is for a soft egg, a medium egg, and then a hard egg there. And then in the back it says a poached omelet or an omelet poached egg. Okay, so really quickly, let me see, do I need to poke a hole and okay, boom, here are the instructions. Really quick, it says, pierce the bottom of each egg with the measuring cup. What? Why do these gadgets take so long? Fill the water to the desired line, place the egg in the tray, cover and press the power to begin cooking. Do not lock the lid while in use. Why wouldn't you lock the lid? I don't know, okay, so four to six eggs we're not going to cook six eggs today we're only going to cook three but it can cook up to six one to three eggs will cook in seven minutes three eggs seven minutes already i don't like it because i can boil 18 eggs on the stove in no time but let's give it a try it's really cute it's made very well it's not like cheap or anything very nice has the power button there. I guess we'll just try and see. We'll be back in seven freaking minutes. Let me plug it all in. And it has these two additional little trays for poached in an omelet. How cute. So you can make an omelet or you can make poached eggs in here. Oh, okay. This kind of makes up for the time it's gonna take to cook this thing. Now let's zoom in. I have my three eggs here. I have filled up this little water thing to the line that says soft. So based on the instructions, this should be ready. Soft eggs, one to three of them in seven minutes. I have my phone here. We will prime this guy. Okay, let's place the water. Why is it making that? Place the egg. Oh wait, I gotta put a hole in these eggs, don't I? This makes me so nervous, guys. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> guys. Okay, there's a little hole there. There's one. Oh, I cracked it. Look. Two. Is that right? Why do you... I don't understand why we have to put this little hole in there. Okay, there's another hole right there. Okay. Three holes. Water's in. Close the lid. All right. There is the blue light. It is cooking. Hey, Suri. Set a seven-minute timer. Okay. Seven minutes and counting. All right, let's see what happens. Done. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Let's see. Ta da da! -da, -da, -da. Okay, these should be, ooh, soft cooked. This one looks like it's gonna be my best bet here. And I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna show it to you guys while we're standing here. They're actually here. It's gonna be hot. Dum dum. I'm gonna hold it with this. Crack it around, crack it around. <gasps> Mother sucker is still boiling hot. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Oh my God, it's perfectly cooked, guys. Perfectly soft. Oh my God, this is so perfect. Look at it, guys. It is, okay, I keep burning my fingers. It's just I can't hold it with these pot holders. Okay, I'll put it back in here. Dum dum, just put it back in there. I didn't have a little cup for my egg to hold it, so we just leave it in here, okay? Just wanna get it partially open for you guys. Oh my God, it is perfection. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now let's see how this yolk is gonna look. Maybe I should get a knife. Maybe I should get a knife. That might work a lot better. Let's see if this yolk is in there perfectly. Just like, yeah. My God. So far, I am so impressed. Ready? Big reveal. <gasps> Look at that perfection. I am totally impressed. Look, perfectly cooked, soft, boiled egg. This is definitely a winner. Josh, I love it. If you were thinking about buying one, I think you should. Look at that. It's perfect, perfectly soft, perfectly soft, perfectly soft. I've never had an egg turn out that perfect before. Now I have the right gadget. All right, you guys, Josh, I think you have a winner here. 
I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian tries. Someone left me a comment and said I should do that Vivian tries <laughs> into like a montage. I think that's what they said. Like put a video together with just me saying that. Might do that, I think that's funny. Today I have another as seen on television product. What is it? Who knows? It's a tornado bottle. I saw it at Walmart the other day and I thought we can give it a try. My bitches will wanna see that. I'm not sure why you would need this because it needs batteries. Who the hell is gonna carry this around with some batteries? But it has all kinds of cool things that will blend in the back. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. Let me give you some examples. It says smooth taste, no more clumping. So it'll do coffee and tea, protein shakes, cocktails, juices, baby formula, Hmm, baby formula, chocolate milk, sauces, and salad dressing. And it also says scrambles, eggs, and pancake batter. So I was gonna do a protein powder, but I'm out of protein. But I do have some chai tea from Trader Joe's that we are going to mix in this thing. And, and to make sure it really works, I have my little, what is this thing called? A shifter, a sifter, a sifter? Is it a sift? I don't know. I think it's called a sifter. So we have this thing so that we can pour it out and see if there's any clumps. And then we'll really know if this thing is a hit or not. Let's give it to, and here are the two batteries. I've come prepared today. Show it in. You guys, look at that. I think this was new. On the bottom is all oily. We should definitely wash this, right? Why am I smelling it? <laughs> I don't know why I'm smelling it. Let me go wash it. Where, how do you put the batteries in? Oh, it has a little power button. Nice. How do you put the How do you put the How do you put the I broke it already. Okay, batteries, anyone? It's gotta be down here, right? Let's see. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. I did it. That's so smart. Okay, so the batteries go down there. I should wash it first, huh? Before I open this, I should wash it so that it doesn't get wet. Okay, so I've sealed it back up just like this and I'm gonna go wash it. So far, so good. It's not cheap, it's nice. I'm gonna go wash it and I'll be right back. Okay, washed for my chai latte mix. I need six ounces of water, which I have here. I wonder if we should do ice. I don't think that's gonna blend ice. That's That little piece in there is like plastic. Oh, maybe I should maybe I should put the batteries in. How about that? It's still kind of wet. Battery number one, snap that guy in there. Battery number two, snap that guy in there. Easy peasy. I guess the batteries are not too bad. I thought it was gonna be like heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so far so good. I think I did six ounces of water. Yep, perfect. Oh, it has a little thing right here. Mm, little measuring thing there. Six ounces of water or 200, is that milliliters of water? And then we have chai. And how many scoops of chai tea do we need? Oh, hold on folks. Mix one scoop or three tablespoons with six ounces of water. Okay, one scoop of chai tea. Whoa, I almost knocked it over. So, six ounces. So young. Okay, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna put it in. All right, guys, here it is. Look at it. Can you see it really well? All right. The moment of truth. You guys ready? One, two, three, go. I have to hold it the whole time? Oh, shit. I thought it was like, it would just, you know, click on and just go to town. Why do I have to hold it? What if I'm in a hurry? I gotta hold this thing? I think it's not bad. I'm right-handed, so I'll hold it over here. That doesn't seem very powerful. I mean, it'll blend it like a spoon would blend it, but it doesn't seem like it's whipping it up or anything special. I'm not gonna blend this for very long. We're about to find out the truth. The truth. We're gonna put it through this guy. We should have timed how long I'm blending it here. You guys see that? I think you can. Pretty sure you can. 
So far the idea is not bad. I just don't think that it's gonna be clumpless. Is that how you say it? Clumpless? No more clumps. I don't think it'll be smooth. I think there will be clumps in there. It said scrambled eggs. Y'all wanna scramble eggs? I'm gonna scramble some eggs. I don't think this thing will scramble eggs. I think eggs will be too heavy for it. I think this will do like basic stuff like juice, you know the little like energy drinks, they come in the little packs, like that kind of stuff, but nothing thick, I don't think. Okay, that's enough. Here's the true test. I'm gonna open it. it smells yum. Okay, I might be wrong. So, this was not planned very well, but shit. <laughs> wow, how am I gonna do this? I want you guys to see it, so hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe I'll do it like this, where I'm holding. I didn't plan this well, guys. You guys know that this is real life. I don't, okay. <laughs> I should have done this on the counter. Ready? Here we go. So far, so good. <gasps> There's no clumps. It totally blended that. Smells so much cinnamon. Totally blended that clean, look. Very Queen, look, no clumps. I'm impressed. It just made me a liar. But guess what? We're gonna test some eggs because they said it will scramble some eggs. Two eggs. Okay, I want you guys to see it. I need to, let me go find a box so I can put it this high and you guys can see. You guys can see. Let me go get my handy little laptop desk. Hold on, I'm ready. Okay, can you guys see it? Tell me. If you can't see it, shout. Let's crack some eggs. You guys remember the last time I did this? Okay, that's one egg. Egg number two. Why would anybody blend eggs in here? Get your blender or just, you know, with a fork. So I wouldn't buy this because you can blend eggs in it, but I might buy it for protein shakes. Seems like it's gonna work. Okay, and you would sprinkle in some like salt and pepper. Okay, let's see, ready? Can I see that well? I don't know, I feel like the eggs are a little too heavy. Oh. That's not very powerful. I mean, it's blending them, but it's not very powerful. I feel like they're not gonna be, I feel like they're not gonna be, oh, it's still going. <laughs> Wait, magic, guys, look, look, it's still blending and I'm not touching it. How did I do that? <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Okay, so you can just put it down. <laughs> I could just put it down and walk away. Silly me. I wonder if it would help if I did like that. Make them real fluffy, put some air in there, right? You gotta get creative, folks. Oh, it's getting air now. You gonna be some fluffy eggs. So let's turn it off. Nice, silly, won't blend itself. Okay, let's try it again with my crazy setup here. Shit, my phone. Here we go, here we go. I don't know why I'm smelling it. I'm like, it's eggs, stupid. Ready? Fucker. Oh, I spilled it. I'm gonna spill it. Wait, eggs are not as easy as... This is not the most flattering fucking... Oh no! Oh, did it get on me? No. Oh, oh, is it on my shirt? Can you guys see? No, it's not on my shirt. Okay. It did spill though. Hold on, let me just put it down like this. I think it's the same thing, isn't it? They're not perfect, but they're not bad. There's just a little bit not blended. But guys, pretty impressed. It is like a little plastic thing in there. I don't know. I, I didn't even think it was gonna do the chai tea. So this is what's left of the eggs, if you can see that. It made a liar out of me because, first of all, I did not have to continue holding the button. After you push the button, it just stays on and it keeps blending. And it did successfully blend the chai tea and it did successfully scramble the eggs. It's made well, it's not heavy. I think it's a winner. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Hello, Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have for you a copper tray. A copper tray, did we not review that a few weeks ago? We sure did. But this time I found the copper crisper from Copper Crisper from Copper Chef. The amazing crisping fryer that works in your oven. The Copper Chef. So the last copper tray that I reviewed was the Gotham Steel brand, and now I have the Copper Chef copper tray, crisper tray, whatever it is. So I'm about to open this and I'll bet you $5 they're the exact same tray. 
but I have a little twist for you guys today. While I was shopping for this, I actually purchased this at Walmart, I'm not Amazon this time, but while I was at Walmart, right underneath the shelf where this one was stacked, guess what I found? This cheap crisper tray. This cost me $5.99. So we're gonna put them up against each other. We're gonna put up the Copper Crisper by Copper Chef, $19.99, up against this Wilton Bake It Better Oven Crisper Tray. Not copper, it's black, but I bet they do the same thing. $5.99 or $19.99. I've had my oven preheating. It is now at 425 degrees. Today we're going to do french fries again, just like we did with the Gotham Steel crisper tray, just so that we can also compare it back to that guy. Remember, that did not work too well. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready for the same exact product? Voila, same thing. I'm not even shocked anymore. Like, I'm on to you guys. We're on to you guys, right? My goodness, same exact tray. Same itty bitty. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who are they fooling? Who are they fooling? Not me, I'm on to them. Okay, so here's the tray. Now we do know that this tray works very well. The air circulates all around. That's why you never have to flip your food. Let me take this off this guy. So as you can see, this one's considerably bigger than this one. Look, you see? $5.99, $19.99. You're paying $19.99 for copper spray paint because it's not real copper. We know that already. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they're both gonna do the same thing? I bet they do. Look, here are fries baked on a cookie sheet. Look at them here in the copper crisper. Now, the crisper tray claims to turn your oven into a air fryer, which is a bull. Somebody said that's such a crock of shit because an air fryer has air moving in the actual machine. My oven does not have air moving the heat around. So there is no way possible that this thing is turning my oven into an air fryer. So that right there, we're taking Vivian heads off for that. This one didn't claim that. This one just said it, it'll crisp up your food. I have a bag of fries right here. Let me go rinse these off and we'll get started. Okay, done, 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 done. And I'm putting them up here on my box because <laughs> I don't wanna to have to move my camera to zoom in, so hopefully you guys can see them right here. I think you can, right? This is perfect. This is gonna work out beautifully. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to put the same amount of french fries in both trays, and I actually think this one might work better. Other open mesh crisping trays drop crumbs and drip grease. The copper crisper comes with this handy nonstick Copper Chef cookie sheet how tiny that is compared to this one. So which one has more space for more fries? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. So I bet this one works better because more heat can get in there. This one, like a baby, a little baby family can, can use that. Okay, so here are some fries. Okay, one handful for that guy. One handful for that guy. One handful for that guy. Okay, we're not gonna overfill. We're gonna have to face the amount of what we're gonna put in both of them based on this little baby little tray. Because I wanna put the same amount in both, but this one has limited space. And then they're gonna go in the oven, 30 minutes. That's what I did last time. 30, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was 30 minutes in the oven. I'm saying they're about even now. I don't wanna put too many in this guy because I just don't think it's gonna work. Anyway, so here's what we have guys. I know this one looks like it does not have as much, but it does, it's just a bigger tray. They do have the same amount. Spread them out evenly. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven and we will be back in 30 minutes. Voila, 32 minutes later, this is what we have. They don't look horrible. I think they both need a little bit more time in the oven. But of course, my big tray here looks like it has more fries that are cooked than this guy does. We're gonna... The trays are still steaming hot. I don't know why I just took my gloves off. <laughs> Let's put the gloves back on and then try to um, cut one of these suckas in half to see if they're raw or if they're cooked. Okay, here's a good one from the black tray. Nice and cooked, right? 
perfect. They could be a little bit crispier if you like them like that. I like them nice and meaty, but these are definitely cooked. Now, let's grab one from the copper tray. Okay, there it is, let's see. Ooh, these are crispier. You can't hear it, but they're definitely crispy. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's take another one from the copper tray. They are cooked, okay. Not bad. Let me get another one from here. Let's see. They're cooked, but they're not as crispy. Okay, so there you go. The ones that I have grabbed from the copper tray are just as cooked as the ones from the black Wilton tray, but the ones in the copper tray are definitely crispier. I don't know if it's the copper tray underneath that is helping the fries get crispier. The secret is the elevated nonstick mesh tray allows heated air to pass through and circulate around all 360 degrees of your food. This one obviously doesn't have a tray underneath. I'm going to have to say that the copper pan definitely made crispier fries. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have for you another, another copper product. This time though, it's not something to cook with. It's something to drink with. Dun da da da! There it is. Red copper mug. I don't know how I feel about this. The red copper was a non-stick pan. Now they've morphed it into a, it's not a non-stick cup. I was gonna say it's a non-stick cup. It's not a non-stick cup. They're just gonna keep popping products out and just slapping on this copper spray paint and then just saying it's copper, whatever the hell. It's a ceramic lined cup. And I thought, how am I gonna test this? Because it claims that it can hold hot, drinks for eight hours and cold drinks for 12. We know that there are 50,000 of those tumblers going around. That is a hot thing now. And this red copper company decided that they're just gonna jump on that bandwagon as well. So I thought, how am I gonna test this cup besides put it in the fridge or leave a hot drink in it for eight hours? I thought, let's put it up against the company that started this whole craze and that is the Yeti cup. So today I'm gonna put the red copper mug against the Yeti tumbler. Tumbler against tumbler. Ding, ding, ding. This guy is $35 I think I paid for him. This guy was $19.99. What do you guys think? To be honest, I'm not even sure about this guy. How am I gonna test both of these guys? I have this little thermometer where I can stick it in the liquid and we can keep track of the temperature in both of the cups. I'm gonna fill both of the cups with boiling hot water. I'm going to check the temperature before we begin. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator to kind of speed up the cooling process. And then I'm gonna check back in about 30 minutes so that we can see which one cooled down faster. And did you know that Walmart does not sell Yeti? They're not allowed. I did not know that. Yeti's too good for Walmart. All right, let's open this guy, see what's inside. Why is the bottom still on? Why is the bottom like that? Oh, it's like a suction. When I zoom in, we'll test that part. It says it will not tumble over. Here are the claims from the red copper mug. Leak resistant lid, we'll test that. Insulated double wall construction, we're gonna test that. Topple proof mug, we're gonna test that. Top rack dishwasher safe. We're not gonna test that. Nobody got time for that right now. Now the Yeti cup, we're just testing it for temperature because this $30 Yeti cup does not give me all that. It just says it's gonna keep your product hot or cold. That's it. Is it worth it? After I fill it with this hot boiling water, I'm gonna put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. Then we'll check back to see which one has cooled down faster. So now let's zoom in so you guys can see me filling these cups with the boiling water and checking the temperature. Okay, let me put my favorite gloves on because there is hot water in front of me in a pan. So there is your Yeti cup and here is the red copper. That's what they look like. One is way taller than the other, which I don't get because this one is a 20 ounce and this is a 16 ounce. But you can see at the bottom, the Yeti doesn't have like this little suction, which is really cool. So it like locks into place so you can't tumble it over. I think that's pretty cool. See, look, impressive. Look, see, it won't tumble over. Look at this one. Yeah, Yeti, no. That is cool. Okay, I'm already sold on this guy. Look, impressive. 
can do all this all day. Okay, never mind. Don't do it that hard. And remember, the Yeti is not leak proof. This one is leak proof. That's what they claim, but obviously the Yeti is not leak proof because there's holes in it. Ready? Here we go. Okay, here's the first one, which is our Yeti. Pretend that's coffee. Here's the second one. Boom. Okay, a little bit more. I'm gonna fill them up. Water's going everywhere. Okay, so now, first one, temperature reads at. I think you gotta give it a couple seconds, don't you? Okay, holding steady at 194. Second one. One ninety four, perfect. Holding steady there. Coop. Seal them up. Both have been sealed. Boom, boom. Okay, right? Sealed, sealed. Okay, I can't feel the heat at all. Good, good. Okay. Now we're gonna put them in the freezer for thirty minutes. Then we'll check back and check the temperatures again. All right, so I left them for a little bit longer. I left them for one hour in the freezer instead of the 30 minutes I said. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take it off. Okay, there we go. Ooh, did you see the steam come out of that one? Let's check the temperature. What do we have? What do we have? It's been in the freezer for one hour and we're still at 162. Hold and steady. Beautiful. Okay, let's check the Yeti. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's see if this Yeti is really worth the money. All right, Yeti, hold and steady at 162. I'm impressed with the red copper mug. I'm very impressed. It held up to the $35 Yeti cup that is hyped up so much and it is so expensive. And they don't even sell it at Walmart. What the hell? All right, you guys, so I am so impressed with the red copper products. Not just this red copper cup, but also the red copper pan that you guys know I absolutely love. It is leak proof, and not only that, the temperature kept up with this hyped up Yeti cup. Temperature in both cups was absolutely the same. This one is totally worth the money. All right, you guys, that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know if you know of a cool kitchen or food product that you think I should try. It might be on an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share it with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.